So we're going to do a little bit of review. Um, we started out, I, I told, we were talking about the three forms of an equation. This is a continuation of 7, 6, where we are writing the equation of a line. So originally we said that there's three ways to write the line, and we could use y equals mx plus b. We could do, this is called slope-intercept. And we could do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's point slope. And standard form, oops, standard form looks like this. ax plus by equals c. Standard form. Now, in standard form, in order for it to be in standard form, A, B, and C should be integers, not fractions. Okay, an integer means a negative or positive whole number. Now, generally, we like A to not be negative. Okay, so whatever we're multiplying it by to get rid of the fraction, we usually try and clear not start with a leading negative. Does that make sense? Okay, so we've talked about this. The other day we focused on starting with a point and a slope. So, you know, 2 comma 3 and m equals 1 fourth. We started with point slope. We started with point slope and then we eventually got to slope intercept. Okay. Um, today, we're going to start with slope-intercept. We're going to have to find the B, that's the goal, write the equation, and then go to standard form. But remember, these are all the same. Okay? So, questions? All right. So let's talk about, they want this equation in standard form. Let's first start with our y equals mx plus b. So if I have y equals mx plus b, what would I substitute? Go, Julia. The m, So what's it going to, how's it going to read, left to right? y equals one-fourth x plus negative, I mean minus two. y equals one-fourth x minus two. Good. To get it into standard form, remember we need to get the x and y on the same side. So what am I doing, Aton? No. I have to get the x to the other side. I want to zero it out on this side. If I multiply by the reciprocal of 1 fourth, 4, it just gives me x. x has not moved. Jamie, what would I do? Subtract uh, 1 fourth x. Yep, we're subtracting 1 fourth x. Okay. And now, am I done? Standard form, x and y are on the same side. And what else? They are, they are all integers. They have to be all integers, so what do I need to do? Go. Multiply both sides by 4. What kind of 4? Negative 4. I personally like a negative 4. My PowerPoint only multiplies by 4. I like to get rid of the leading negative. So I would have done it this way by negative 4 and gotten this. If I, had, oops, if I had done by negative 4, we end up with this. Is everybody clear what it means to be in standard form? Okay. So now, today I'm learning, we're, I'm showing you a different method, and I want you, we're taking a point and a slope, and we're not using point slope. After tonight you'll get to choose your method. You're going to like one over the other. Hopefully, it, you'll sway to, the, to my side, the point slope side. But we won't know until after you've done tonight's homework. And you'll probably do what feels most comfortable, which is there's like two ways to go to Starbucks. It doesn't matter how you get there. So you'll, after tonight, you get to choose your method. So we're going to start with y equals mx plus b. And we don't have a b, but we do have, remember, this is an x and this is a y. 
So we're going to substitute that into the equation for the x and the y, and we know what m is. Okay, you with me? I would probably do it all at the same time. Does everybody understand? And so what we're going to do is solve for b. And when I substitute 2 there, that's like 2 over 1. So now when I multiply that, what does that become? 4 equals negative 2 over 5 plus b. Okay? And then we're going to add 2 over 5. We're going to add 2 over 5. And we get 4 and 2 fifths equals b. Or can't I say that that's 22 over 5? Right? Now, I know that my b equals, I, it could be 4 and 2 fifths or 22 over 5. Right? We know our slope. How do I write the equation? y equals mx plus b. How do we write it? Anybody? Yep. So good. 1 over 5 X. what? X plus, plus 22 over 5. Excellent. Would it have been okay to do this? Would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter if we use the mixed number or the fraction. Now, am I done? No. no. Why? Okay, tonight you're probably going to go to here. The book doesn't do a lot of standard form. We're going to get to slope-intercept. you understand what it means to go to slope-intercept? Okay, so tonight you're going to stop here, but they want to go us to go to standard form. So once I'm there, what do I need to do? How about Max? Subtract. We're doing the inverse operation. We're going to add one fifth x to both sides. And now what, Max? Uh, then you would multiply both sides by five. Multiply everything by five. Okay, and we are done. We're in standard form. I don't like this method because you find the b. And I find, I find a lot of kids, they find the B, and then they think they're done. They forget that you have to actually write this equation, substitute it in. Does that make sense? And that's why I don't like this method. Is that what you did for the homework? Yeah. And I found B and then answer Okay. Um... All right, so let's try the next one. Ready? You, why don't you guys try this one? You guys ready to do it on your own, or you want one more with me? Okay. So let's start with, what do I do? Chloe. So first thing is that you're going to add the y equals, and then Let's first write the formula. Y equals? X plus B. Good. Always start with it. Go. And then you're going to plug in the slope. So I do y equals negative 3 over 7x plus, um, yeah. Just plus b. Oh, Actually, we don't really have to. We don't really have to write that right now. We could write away. We can substitute everything. Remember, Chloe, this is your x and this is your y. So where do they get substituted? Where is there an x in that equation? Oh, right next to that. Yep, so. so it would be times one. Right, and where does the, the negative 2 go? Plus 2. No, it's not a b. That is an actual y. That's not a y-intercept. Oh, okay. It's a y in an ordered pair, not a y-intercept. Right, so negative 2. So I'm substituting here. It went right here. 
and this one is going here. Is everybody understanding that? And we have to find our y-intercept, not our y, but our y-intercept. So now I have negative 2 equals negative 3 over 7 plus b. Now what? Okay, keep going, Chloe. Um, now you would subtract negative 3 over 7. Am I subtracting? Oh, no, you'd add it. Why? Because it's a negative. Right, so we have to do inverse operations. Add 3 sevenths. Add 3 sevenths. And now, remember over here, this negative 2, I need to turn that into a fraction where the denominator is 7 and it equals negative 2. What would it be? What fraction? Come on, guys. Yep, Noah? Negative 14 over 7. Does everybody understand how to get that? And I always determine what it's over by looking at the other fraction. So I have negative 14 over 7 plus 3 over 7 makes what? Negative 11 over 7. Negative 11 over 7. And these cancel out, and we are left with B. So now I have B equals negative 11 over 7. What else am I, do I already have? M equals... 3 over 7, and what is the equation? Y equals, Ma uh, how about Maddie? Y equals, um, three over seven. what kind of 3 over 7? Negative 3 over 7. Um, times 1. Nope. Okay. We already used that. We already got it. I don't need it anymore. Negative 3 over 7 x minus 11. Perfect. Okay, now, am I in the form that they want? So what do I need to do? Now tonight, you're probably going to stop here because they said they want it in slope intercept. That's y equals mx plus b. But here, they're asking us to keep going. What am I doing, Fionn? You add 3 over 7x to both sides. y plus 3 over 7x equals negative 11 over 7. Am I in standard form yet? No. What do I need to do? Go, Noah. Multiply it all by 7. Multiply everything by 7, and we get 7y plus 3x, right, cancels out, equals negative 11. I am now in standard form. Uh, we should put it in alpha order, right? 3x plus 7y equals negative 11. Because math people like things in order. It's predictable. Okay, are you guys understanding this? Tonight, you're really just going to this point. All of this is not nothing you're going to have to do. Why I hate this is because when kids finish here, they stop. They think, okay, I found the B, I'm done. The question is, write the linear equation. How do they want it? They're always going to tell you. In this case, it's standard form. Does that make sense? Tonight's homework, they're going to say in slope intercept. Two days ago, you used the point in a slope and used point slope to get here. But tonight, you're using slope intercept to write the equation in slope intercept. Yes, I'm understanding. No, I'm not. All right. Let's see, I think i got to show you one more thing. But let's have you guys, whoops, practice one time. Okay, pause the, oh, look what they did. This is tricky. Really tricky. Why is this tricky? It's an x-intercept. What are they giving you? What is the point for the x-intercept? Four, zero. So they're really giving you a point. 4, 0. Be careful. It didn't say y-intercept. That's sneaky, huh? They actually gave you a point. Okay, you're still doing it the same way. We're not using point slope. Pause the recording and solve this using mx plus b. Okay, so we know that the x-intercept is really 4, 0. Question?
No, I was going to say it. Okay. I substitute in. I'm getting my 12 fifths. I still get, I have to get the B alone, so subtract 12 fifths. And now I'm left with, our, my B is negative 12 over 5. Julia. Now, to put this into slope intercept, what did you get? Whoops. Good. Y equals 3 fifths X minus 12 over 5. I don't like that plus minus. I like the way she said it. So now, am I in standard form? For tonight's homework, this would be good. It'd be slope intercept. How do I get it? What do I do now? Good. And then? What's the rule? Yep. Good. Multiplying everything times 5 and, and negative 3x plus 5y equals negative 12. Okay? Questions? So, do you have to go this far tonight? No. Yes. Would you multiply by negative 5 to clear the... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, personally, I would. And if I multiply it by negative 5, I end up with 3x minus all signs change to the opposite equals 12. I would like that more. Yeah. I wouldn't mark you off, though, for this. Okay, questions. Um, I did notice somebody that I was tutoring, in their notes, they said for it to be in standard form, A has to be positive. In everything I've seen, it's not mandatory for A to be negative, positive, right? So I just do it. It looks neat, clean. You'll see when we start factoring and we get X squared, we'll want that first one to be positive. All right. So now, you've done, you've been able to write the equation given a point and a slope. Everybody's good about that? You have two methods. Well, what happens if I'm given just two points? How, I have the ability to write the equation of a line. What do you think we would do first? What do we need to write an equation of a line? First of all, what are the two things we need to write the equation of a line, Elise? We need a slope and we need a point. Okay. We need a slope and a point or a slope and a y-intercept, right? And, oh, yeah, You're right. A slope and a point or a slope and a y-intercept. We have to eventually get to the y-intercept. We have a point and we have what else? The ability to find what? Max? Find the slope. We have the ability to find the slope. So... We're going to use the slope formula, which is, which is, rise over run. Let's see how they do it here. Oh, the change in the change in x. Right, but what was the formula? M equals y two minus y one. Y two minus one. Right, we're going to do our y two minus y one. I just want to see what's the next here. Yes, there. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so what is my y2? Right, I'm doing 5 minus 3 over 4 minus negative 2. Right, which is what? You should be writing this, not just staring because you're going to need this. So it's 2 over 6, which reduces to what? 1 over, 3. 1 over 3. So now we have m equals 1 over 3, and we can choose a point. What point? Chloe, you have a preference? 4 5. Okay, let's go 4 or 5. Why? Because she likes it. <laughs> okay. And really, you now have two methods. I think for tonight, let's use the slope-intercept method so you get that practice. Tomorrow, you'll have a choice. 
y equals mx plus b. I'm substituting, here's my x, here's my y. So I'm doing 5 equals 1 third times 4 plus b. 4 over 1. That becomes 5 equals 4 over 3 plus b. I now have to add, I subtract 4 thirds. Subtract 4 thirds. I'm going to change 5 to a number with what in the denominator? So it'd be what? 15 thirds. So that's positive 15 thirds minus 4 thirds. What does that make? And it's positive equals b. So now I have my b, I have my slope. Okay, what's the equation of the line? Let's write it. Julia? Perfect. And if they say slope intercept, we stop there. So do you understand the idea if you have two points, you have the ability to find the slope. You use the slope and a point, substitute in. Yes? That's M. Why? Five? Because I did this. Five minus three is what? Oh, two. Okay. And four plus two is six. And then I reduced it to one third. Okay. Okay, let's try. We have a couple more minutes. Let's try one more. Yeah. Does it matter which point you use when you write Not at all. Not at all. Let's see. They used, um, oh, they used 4, 5. You'll get the same equation. It doesn't matter. All right. So why don't you try it? Find the slope first. Go. Pause the recording. And then use your slope and a point to write the equation. Elise. I started off by going 8 minus negative 3, and then 4 minus 0. Okay, hold on. Let me get there with the PowerPoint. 8 minus negative 3 over 4 minus 0. Good. And what did you get? And then I got 11 over 4. Good. And so then I did uh, slope, not, I did like the slope intercept thing. Mm -hmm. And I did 8, I used 4, 8. So I did 8 equals 11 fourths times 4 plus B. And then, yeah. And then I subtracted, uh, no, I didn't subtract. I multiplied 11 fourths times 4, and I got 8 equals 11 plus B. Mm -hmm. And then I subtracted 11 from both sides. Correct. So should be equals negative 3. Good. And then what's the equation? Y equals 11 fourths X minus 3. Perfect. Yes, Jamie. Uh, for the B, or the Y intercept, I noticed that the first point you was the You're right. So, you could have shortcutted it. Did you hear that, guys? So what Jamie noticed right here, that this ordered pair was the y-intercept. So for him, he just shortcutted it right away. He said b equals negative 3. M, he, he found, the, he found the, the slope, and he didn't, he, had to, he didn't have to do any of this. Do you understand? Because he recognized that. That's good. Yes? So we can do that with the market for the B. Sure. Sure. I mean, I'm glad that you're recognizing that. Um, but I do, you, I mean, there's going to be ones. I want you using this method. Whatever you learn first is generally what becomes easiest for you. So I've kind of implanted that. All right, that's it for today. Um, oh, let's look at this really quick before I let you guys go. I won't do it. Just stop and look. So given a table, all you do to write the equation is you pick two points. It doesn't matter. Any two points. Remember, a straight line will be the same slope between any two points. Does that make sense? All right. That's it.